this video tutorial i will explain what is http basic authentication here you can see the client here you can see the server client send request to the server for the protected resource and web server returns a dialog box asking username and password to the client and client enter username and password and send it to the server and server validate it is proper username and password if it is valid username and password then it returns requested resource this is how we have to specify basic authentication in our deployment descriptor http basic authentication is not a secure authentication mechanism because basic authentication sends username and password over the internet as a plain text and that is base64 encoded and if someone can intercept the transmission they can get base64 encoded text and they can easily decode the username and password so that is the reason http basic authentication is used in conjunction with ssl or security at network level in order to avoid someone to get the plain text which is transmitted from client to the server so usually basic authentication is used with https protocol go to this http bin.org and here you can find example of basic authentication here you can see the url copy this then the url is basic hyphen auth then uh, username and password username wrong password is uh, pass123 click on enter and uh, it is asking username and password uh, dialog box username wrong and uh, password is uh, pass123 click on sign in and here we got the response now again i am going to try and this time i will enter wrong username and password click on enter username is wrong but i will give something else i will give dave and password is pass123 i will type 88 click on sign in and you can see it is asking username and password again because uh, username and password is wrong i will try with uh, another username click on sign in and uh, it is asking again so now i will give a correct username and password which is wrong and uh, password is pass123 and this time i got the response you can get java source code link for each video in the description section of the video here you can see the description section click on show more and here you can see the java source code links click on these links to get the Java source code.